Thanks to a data mine, we've gotten our first look at a new Splatfest feature which I think you're all going to really enjoy, as well as another update directly related to this specific Splatfest. We'll be able to try this out for ourselves this weekend, so let's take a look at the data mine. Kerblink has shared over on Twitter how Splatfest times battle wins work in 2.0.1. You'll be able to take a picture with the idol representing your chosen team. Four players will show up on the board. Unknown if there's a section for all three times variants, you have three options for the float. So here in the little clip we can see this in action, and it's a really nice new feature. Nintendo did actually tease this during their patch notes, but we haven't had a proper look at it yet, so it's fantastic to see exactly how it's going to work in the game. I'm really happy that there's another bonus for working hard during the Splatfest, and I love the fact that we can take pictures with the idols for the first time. I believe this is something you could do in the past games as well, so it's definitely good that it has made it to Splatoon 3. You can even get a few different options for where you're going to take the photo, for example in front of the pledge box, down the back alley, and in front of all the shops, so that's really cool. And I could imagine them updating this even more in the future to give us all kinds of different options to take the photographs. Kerblink also says, adding on to this, it seems you're only able to view times battle wins based on the team you've chosen. Adding on to this again, it seems that you won't be able to take a picture with the opposite gender slash species slash clothes as the one you won with. Kerblink also shares what it looks like during halftime, which is really, really cool. I'm definitely going to have to get lots of photos during this particular moment. Finally, they share, I forgot to mention that there are three poses for the float pitches. Sitting pose, 100 times win pose, and 333 times win pose. They also give credit to Cox for their help on this, another data miner who has done some great work. So I'll link to both of their Twitters down in the description. So yes, definitely a really cool new feature that I'm looking forward to. You can also see what the Splatfest colors look like in-game as well, and they look really, really nice. This is going to be a really fun Splatfest, especially with all the changes that Nintendo has outlined and made for us prior to this, thanks to the 2.0 update. It's going to be really interesting to see how things go with the tricolor battles and such. I'm honestly really looking forward to it. Let me know in the comment section down below what team you voted for. I would absolutely love to hear. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splatfest Gang down below so I know that you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on channel notifications for more.